Now then YouTube, I am the Tough Man and welcome back to part 2 of my Thorncraft 3 guide. And it's going to be a complete guide guys. Um, I'm still on the aspects, I'm still rattling through the aspects at the minute. In the last video we showed you how to get started in Thorncraft by crafting the certain materials that you need. A wand, uh, the arcane work table and the research table. But in order to use the research table you need to know what kind of aspects and what kind of items will give you the best return for that particular aspect. And that is exactly what I'm going to be showing you in the next few videos as well as the, the, uh, the last one just gone. I got up to Lignum which is the tree type symbol. And next we're on Vacuous, or Vacuous, vacuo, Vacuous, whatever you want to call it. And this looks like a picture of a black hole. If we go to this block of lead here, you can see on the right-hand side, that is the symbol for Vacuous. So moving on, we've got uh, the best ones down here. Chest, for four of that I item. We've got the bowl, which is only one, and I'll get to that in a minute. We've got lead, which is two. And we've got lead ingots, which is two also. Now, lead is not a part of Thorncraft originally. So if you're just playing Thorncraft as well as vanilla, you will probably, my pick of this aspect will be bowls. Quite simply put, it's cheaper than chests. Um, you use three wooden planks for a bowl, whereas you use eight for a chest. It does give you four for this, and this only gives you one. But I think you can get a stack of bowls a lot quicker than you can get a stack of chests. Pretty obvious, really. If you've got um, factorization, I believe adds adds lead, and thermal expansion, I believe adds lead as well. If you've got any of them installed, then by all means pulverize yourself some lead. I'll get some lead. I don't know if there's lead dust. Is there lead dust? I don't think there is. Lead dust. There is lead dust. And does that give you two as well? It does. I think the you know the. Pulverized lead is exactly the same as lead dust. I think it gives you exactly the same anyway. So, by all means, get yourself some ore, pulverize yourself some lead, and use the de lead dust of the pulverized lead instead of using the ingots. Because, of course, you're going to get double the amount of pulverized um, lead, and you don't have to go and smelt it to be able to research. So, I mean, it's worth more in ingots that way, but this has got the extra added um, aspect on there. And that's another thing with Thorncraft, guys, um, that I should have really have covered in the last video. When you're doing research, you may come across an item that requires uh, numerous amounts of aspects. Now, just because this has one vacuous, it's also got one of the tree as well. Uh, mind you, that's got three of the tree, so that's probably not the best thing to use as an example. We'll use lead and bowls, say, for example. If you've got a research item that requires both the uh, tree aspect there and the black hole, if, if you've got a, a research item that requires both of them, then it could be advantageous to use something that's not got quite as many uh, points in particular aspects because it's got the other included aspect in that item. And you're killing two birds with one stone by you know by doing that. Whereas if you use pulverized lead, if it's got if it's got um, the tree aspect, you yes you're getting double the amount of the black hole aspect, but you're not getting any of that tree aspect. And you know you've just got to figure it out for yourself whether or not it's worthy doing it that way or you know doing it so that you're killing two birds with one stone. Really easy. You know you will get the hang of it pretty pretty quickly. The next thing we've got is Karis. Uh, it's called Karis. It looks a picture of a goblet, you can see there. That's worth four goblets, actually. That's pretty good. But we'll come through to the best items here that uh, I would probably use that's part of vanilla. We've got gold ingots there. That's worth four. Diamonds also worth four. So it's probably worth using the gold unless, like I said previously, you've got a second aspect, which is one of the others. Uh, you're killing two birds with one stone, pretty much but gold is a lot cheaper. You've got the gold R. I wouldn't know why you would want to do that, but uh, it's there in case you did. Now the clock is worth 13. The reason why is because it has gold in its recipe. That's why it's so high. It's not quite as much as if you were to use gold by itself and then add it up to the amount that it takes to craft the clock. It wouldn't add to 13. It would add to a lot more than that. So you're probably still off best using gold. But my pick of um, this particular uh, aspect is smooth sandstone. Yes, it's only worth one of this particular goblet, but it's very, very, very cheap. All you need is a good amount of sand, and pretty much you can get that absolutely anywhere. 
You can also use these rubies, uh, sapphires and, and green sapphires and stuff. They're added by Greg Tech, not Red Power um, at the minute. I don't have Red Power installed right at this very second, but it certainly will be. Smooth Sandstone is probably the best uh, best out of this bunch to use, to be quite honest. You've also got Lapis there as well, but I think Smooth Sandstone is probably the cheapest one to use. We've got the purest aspect now, which is the Droplet. And you can see there, it's like kind of like a crystalline droplet rather than a water droplet, which we'll get to later on. You can see the second one along there is that droplet that I'm talking about. And there's certain things, now this is a very expensive aspect uh, to, to actually research. You've got the nether star, which is eight of that aspect, but that is very, very hard to come by. You've also got diamond, which is four. You've got silverwood logs, which are two. Silverwood leaves, which are one. But my pick of this aspect by far is refined iron. Yes, it's only one, but it's very, very cheap in comparison to all of these items previous to it. Refined iron is my pick of this aspect. Moving on to vitreous now, which is crystals, and I've totally spelt crystals wrong. I do apologise for that. And crystals look like the uh, aspect on the far right there. You can see it. Uh, that one's got two of that particular one. Now, I don't know why you would want to use it, but diamond R has 10. Diamond itself has 12. Emeralds have 10. They're quite common, actually, in uh, extreme hills biomes. I've come across bloody loads of them in extreme hills, but they don't exist anywhere else in any kind of biome, so that's just something to keep in mind. Ender pearls also have them for four, and then you've got obviously the ruby green, the sapphires and, and what have you, um, that's worth eight, and if you've got Zycraft installed, you will have quartz crystal as well, which is worth four. My pick of this aspect really could be uh, one, of, one of anything. If, you've, if you're near a extreme hills place then you probably want to use emeralds as you, they're pretty common in extreme hills actually but guys if you've got Zycraft installed you would probably want to go for quartz crystals um, the sapphires all these are pretty hard to come by at least I've thought they're pretty hard to come by and if you're using pure vanilla there's nothing really that you can do than either use ender pearls or diamonds that's pretty much it really I mean you can use tin as well that's worth two or glass Glass is pretty easy to come by if you want it, but it's only one of that particular aspect. Glass is pretty easy to come by, so you may want to use glass. Uh, it's totally up to you. So moving on to Fabrico, which is the anvil type uh, thing here, and there's pretty there's nothing really that you can do about this in vanilla. If you are using just vanilla and Thorncraft, then the only thing that will have it is the crafting table, which is. Uh, Pretty silly. I don't know at the minute if he's going to be adding any more. I don't think there's anything else really that you can use as like the anvil shape, unless you want to use an anvil. But I very much doubt that you're going to use an anvil because that's a very expensive recipe. Like I said, I've taken most of the most of the items out of here that uh, people just wouldn't use, to be quite honest. And uh, we've got some steel ingots there, which are part of railcraft and you know numerous other things as well. And then the the crafting table is my pick of this aspect. Moving on to the next one, we've got Fractus, which is the shattered rock kind of symbol. And you can see it there on the left-hand side, that is what the, I'm talking about by that particular symbol. So we've got the best items down here. The furnace, six of that particular uh, aspect. Gunpowder, which is four. TNT, which is 16. Alimentum, which is three. And cobblestone, which is one. Now the reason why I've put cobblestone in there is because that is my pick of this aspect. Who doesn't have loads of cobblestone spare? really use that because that would be the best thing to use you can also use that cobblestone to maybe build yourself a fur uh, stack of furnaces and use that maybe but um, pretty easily I would go with cobblestone all day for that particular aspect that would be my pick of this aspect my next one that I want to show you guys is metallum which is the ingot kind of uh, aspect symbol thing and you can see that that is exactly what it looks like right there and I've got the ones uh, you know got out here for you guys to actually take a look at you have a slight bonus using ingots rather than using dusts but it's totally up to you whether or not you use the dust version of all of these ingots that's right guys the best thing to actually use for this symbol is ingots and the best ingots to use are actually iron ingots. That would be my pick of this aspect. Eight points 
in that particular aspect. And then we've got gold, which is eight points, and also four of the goblet type of sign. And then, of course, it goes from seven, seven, and then down to six, using the, all the common type of, of um, ingots here. And then right at the end there, thormium, which, which has to be researched by Thormcraft, um, has quite a high content of magic as well. Um, that would be... Um, eight worth of this aspect as well but my pick of this aspect is iron ingots really they're pretty easy to come by and they're worth quite a lot the next one is imperi imperito or imperito which is like the dummy kind of sign and you can see it there on the left hand side I don't know why I've not got that down there actually you can see that there on the left hand side that is the dummy sign that I'm all about right so the best ones are slime balls which has got four magma cream which has three Levers, which only have one, and then the rubber, if you've got IC2 installed, that has two on there as well. My pick of this aspect would be levers, purely because they are very, very simple, very easy to make, and you can get yourself a stack of them pretty, pretty quickly. So that would be my pick of this type of aspect. Moving on, we've got Machina, which is the cogs. And uh, you probably actually want buttons down there as well. The cog aspect, you can see there, is that one on the left-hand side which looks like cogs, really. Uh, it's called Machina, or Machina, whatever you want to call it. The best one is Redstone Lamps. That's got six. Redstone Torches have four. Redstone itself has two. Pressure Plates have one. And uh, Buttons also have one as well. Now, the way my pick, really, of this aspect would be the buttons. The buttons, you only require one of that particular thing. So, in, in this case, you would require one wooden plank to make... Um, you know, a button. And who doesn't have one wooden plank? The other pick of this aspect, there are two picks of this aspect, would be redstone torches. Redstone torches give you four and only require one redstone and a stick. Pretty easy. For four, that's not bad. But if you don't have any redstone kicking about, buttons are your next best bet for this aspect. Moving on, we've got potentia, which is kind of like a fist icon. You can see right in the... Uh, on the left hand side there it looks like a fist holding a lightning bolt so I've just called it fist um, and I've got the best ones down here for you guys redstone lamp which gives you six of that particular one redstone repeater gives you five uranium gives you six remember that's only part of IC2 steel dust gives you six but that's only part of um, I was going to call it universal electricity but it's changed its name basic components and ICBM um, Alumentum gives you six but has to be researched Nitor gives you four but also has to be researched and coal gives you two my pick of this aspect would be coal purely because it's very easy to come by uh, charcoal does it as well and charcoal is very easy to make yourself so um, that would you know coal or charcoal would be my pick of this particular aspect Solum which has got a picture of a fence you can see on the right hand side it looks a bit like a fence I don't really know what that picture is of so I've just called it fence as you do. And we've got all vanilla items down the bottom here. TNT, which gives you six. Clay, which gives you six. Brick stairs gives you seven. Sandstone gives you five. Uh, sans well, sandstone stairs gives you five. Sandstone itself gives you four. And uh, sandstone slabs give you three. Um, my pick of this aspect, purely because of how easy it is to come by, is clay. Pretty much it's everywhere now. It's not what Minecraft used to be. Clay, if you look in some, a body of water, there will usually be clay in that body of water. Now, you could go all out and maybe go ahead and make yourself some brick stairs. Or maybe you've got some brick stairs left from a build that you've done. That's worth seven. But my pick of this aspect is clay. And that has to be clay blocks, by the way, because if you use clay by itself, it's only two. Clay box gives you six. I know it's a little bit less of a return, so maybe you want to use clay. But at, at the end, it doesn't really matter. Now, Gellum, or Gellum, which is the snowflake. Not very many to show you here, guys, so my pick of this aspect really is snow. There's nothing much more that I can say about that. Get yourself some snowballs, make yourself some snow, like that. And you're pretty much sorted. Um, you can have ice as well, but snow is probably your best bet, to be honest, rather than having to put uh, snowballs in a compressor or anything like that. I mean, if you have some spare... If you uh, have some spare energy kicking around, one snowball equals uh, one ice, rather than four snowballs equaling one snow. So, uh, it's up to you. But that would be my pick, snow.
Aqua, which is the water drop kind of symbol. You can see there on the far left, the water drop. And I've got the best ones down here. So the first one is gas tears, which actually comes to far of that particular aspect. The one next onto that is an empty map, which is actually worth 13 of the water drops. And there's a reason for that, which I'll get to in just a second, which you've probably already guessed by now anyway. The bookshelf, which is 8. Sugar canes equals 2. And paper equals 2. My pick of this aspect would be sugar canes, purely because of how easy they are to come by. But if you want to go ahead and make yourself an empty map, which I believe needs a compass in the middle surrounded by paper, so it's not exactly cheap to come by, but look at how many aspects that come along with it. So maybe you've got a, a big big research to do. That might be something that you want to use. But my pick of this aspect would be sugar canes, just by purely how easy they are to come by. Tell them, which is the uh, swords kind of picture. Really isn't very many stuff to actually use, guys, or that I would think that you guys would use. My pick of this aspect would be arrows. Um, you could use cactus as well, but they're both exactly the same value. It just depends on what secondary aspect you want on there, whether or not you want this wing type aspect, or whether you want the uh, leaves and water droplet. Piss, pick of this as piss. Uh, no, pick of this aspect is arrows. But if for some reason you're playing on peaceful or something like that, cactus can do you just as well. Sonus, which is sound waves, really isn't very many for this as well. The only two vanilla items are a note block and a jukebox. Now the note block is obviously cheaper to make than the jukebox, which is why exactly it's half of the amount of Sonus. And you can see on the right hand side that is the symbol for Sonus. Messis, which is the Bud symbol. And I'll stop after the next one guys and go on to the next part. Now the Bud symbol is the one right on the far left you can see there. That's got two of that particular aspect. It's like a, a flowering bud. I would like to call it, so that's why I've called it that. Um, you've got pumpkins, which are worth eight. Jack-o'-lanterns, which are worth six. Uh, pumpkin pie, which is worth eight. Cake, which is worth eight. Books, which are worth five. And empty, match, uh, empty maps, which are worth 13. So again, pretty high on that front. But my pick of this aspect would be pumpkins. Pretty easy to come by if you've got them. That is, you can just plant a load out. And I think, is that the same? No, no, it's not, is it? That's double for some reason. Hmm. Maybe it's because of that second aspect that, that's halved. Uh, but there you've, got, there you've got pumpkin, which is eight. Um, if you can't find pumpkins for whatever reason, then go ahead and make yourself some books or, you know, get yourself an empty map. But books would probably be my pick if you can't find pumpkins. And then the last one of this video is animus, which is the ghost symbol, which you can see on the far left there. That's the ghost symbol. Now these can't actually be crafted, these, so I don't know what they're doing in the game. Um, or at least by any eye they can't be crafted. So we've got three different things of this particular aspect. We've got the gas tier, which is four. Soul sand, which is one. And wispy essence, which is one. My pick of this aspect would obviously be soul sand because of how easy it is to come by if you've got the nether open. If you haven't got the nether open, then to get wispy essences, I think you can, you've got to actually kill wisps. And I think wisps only come through um, doing quite a bit of research in a particular area so that the um, node... The, it, it, I'm not going to go into it now because it's a little bit complicated but basically once you do a load of research and stuff like that and have uh, flux going into the atmosphere it has a negative effect on the environment that causes wisps to spawn and that's how you get wisps but my pick of this aspect would be soul sand because gas tears are pretty hard to get unless you've got a spawner <laughs> but anyway guys that is it for this episode of my Thorncraft 3 guide to aspects I think that's what I'm going to actually name this set of starting videos, is a guide to aspects, as like a subtitle, really. So until next time, guys, I have been the Softman, and as always, stay safe.